The unbearable weight of massive talent has just hit theaters this weekend. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another movie review, so let's start talking about it. So with the unbearable weight of massive talent, you got Nicolas Cage playing Nicolas Cage. He is invited to a superfan's birthday party played by Pedro Pascal, but as he is about to arrive to the party, he gets intercepted by the CIA who recruit him to investigate Pedro Pascal, who they believe is up to no good. Alright, so when I say Pedro Pascal, I can see how that can be confusing. Pedro Pascal is not playing himself, but Nicolas Cage is playing himself in this movie. And you really gotta hand it to Nicolas Cage in this movie because an actor to play themselves in a movie is easier said than done. But what works so well with Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent is that Nicolas Cage kind of feels like he doesn't hold back. He's very aware of the public image that people have of him because let's face it, Nicolas Cage is one of those actors that you look at and you just wonder, have they ever said no to a script? He just seems to do so much stuff. Stuff, and a lot of the times the stuff isn't the best quality but nonetheless he does it anyways and Nicolas Cage in this movie addresses that there are tons of references to Nicolas Cage's past movies his work and the real life public perception of him that they do not shy away from and it really works to the movie's benefit to get you to really buy into the fact that this is Nicolas Cage and what's great about that is that this movie simultaneously is a commentary on Nicolas Cage and his career as well as an homage and celebration of his career up until this point and they really hammer that point in with Pedro Pat Pascal playing this super fan of Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal in this movie was the show stealer for me especially when you get Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal together. As far as the plot of the movie goes of Nicolas Cage being recruited by the CIA to investigate this super fan it's a fun idea but it's not necessarily a very funny situation but what makes this movie so funny is what Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal do with the material and what they do with that situation because Pedro Pascal and Nicolas Cage when you get these guys on screen that is where the fireworks really set off. These two have one of the best friends friendships, the best bromances in movies I've seen in at least the last 10 years. The way that they work off of each other in every scene, they just help to elevate each other's material. There were numerous times throughout this movie where these two had me in belly laughs, just with their interactions and how they played off of each other. What's really great about their characters is that you get to see their friendship develop and grow throughout the entire movie. There is a scene with these two where they are both on acid and I was almost in tears. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> on top of this being a buddy comedy with Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal there's also an action comedy aspect to this movie and the action in this movie was also really enjoyable really fun but much like the movie it doesn't take itself too seriously but the movie also has a lot of heart to it that I was not expecting when I walked into it because Nicolas Cage, he's kind of a workaholic. His career and the movies that he's made have taken up a lot of his time and for that he's kind of neglected his family. So there's a real family dynamic in this movie that amongst all the wackiness and crazy and silliness allows this movie to also have a pretty strong emotional punch. Even though the family relationship in this movie doesn't necessarily reflect Nicolas Cage's family situation in real life, it really just helps to ground this movie in more of a reality. Real quick, before I get to my final recommendation for this movie, guys, we are almost at a thousand subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. That blows my mind. I did not think we'd get here this soon. So if you're new here and you like talking all things movies, TV, and all things entertainment, why don't you go on and click that subscribe button, click that like button, click that notification bell, all that YouTube stuff. And without further ado, let's get back to the review. So to end my overall thoughts on Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, the bigger Nicolas Cage fan that you are, the more you're going to get out of this movie. I've seen a number of his work. I've seen a number of his movies. There are definitely a lot of references in here that I thought were great. And there's also a lot of deep cuts that I could tell that's a reference, but I have no idea what that's referencing to. But that's the great thing about Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, is that it's a commentary on movies, it's a commentary on Nicolas Cage's life and his career, a commentary on fandom, a commentary on the state of movies and movie theaters and what audiences want to watch nowadays. But it's not a movie that feels that niche to an audience. My wife Cassidy, for example, she doesn't know anything about Nicolas Cage's career really that much. But she had a great time at this movie because the movie itself just stands on its own. And I also had a really great time with Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. So for me, this is easily a very solid recommend. But what did you guys think of Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent? And what is your favorite Nicolas Cage performance? Comment down below, let me know. I want to know all your thoughts and opinions about this movie. As always, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and checking out my channel, and I hope to talk to you guys again real soon.